Rag Pride 51 has officially started. I'm your Southwest hey. Iowa neighborhood reporter, Katrina Markle, just north of Silver City, where a lot of the riders had breakfast. Now they'll head to Henderson, Emerson, and spend the night in Red Oak. In Glenwood, tents were being packed up and campers were pulling out by 7 a.m. We'll see you next year. These sisters from Eastern Iowa ride veterans since 1999. My brother passed away. These are his jerseys and we're wearing them in honor of him. By 8 a.m., the director of the Mills County Chamber of Commerce was in Silver City. I got a solid two and a half hours of sleep. She was pleased with the rag bra experience in Glenwood, which took more than 200 volunteers equivalent to the entire population of Silver City. This could be a nice economic boost for them. At Richard's Man Cave, Man Cave. Team Love Taco from Omaha and Council Bluffs said they were hanging out at the informal social club just last week. He tells people to come on in anytime you want. Inside, Richard Gronfeld was making coffee for a couple from Iowa City. His son Chris says Ragbri is a big deal for neighbors. I think it's just a highlight of the town. If you own a business in Silver City, one day is going to impact you know, uh, the rest of the year. And the cool temps were welcomed by a first-time Wyoming rider who also got to pet a goat. I've heard through the grapevine that it was terrible last year, it was super hot. So this year is just like a blessing. Eight-year-old Gabe Bauer from Sioux Falls is not a Ragbri first-timer. I asked him his goal for this year. Trying to beat 20 miles because that's my limit so far. A few hours ago, I spoke with the sheriff of Mills County who told me there were zero arrests in Glenwood last night during the block party, and that doesn't always happen. In Silver City, I'm your Southwest Iowa neighborhood reporter, Katrina Markle.